Hello everyone. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. So in this video we learn about deletion of some technical data in ECC. Okay. So in the earlier videos we have learned about archiving. Okay. So we have started with what is archiving. Okay. And later we have learned about the archiving of four important objects. The iDocs, the change documents. Okay. Uh, the BAL star tables that is the application log tables and uh, the last one is the DB tab log table okay so now in this video we learn about deletion of some technical data in ECC system so for some technical big tables there are no archiving objects suitable but they are delete programs which can reduce the table space these reports should be scheduled at regular intervals for execution okay so when we have no option of archiving okay so we just go and purge off the data okay because we just can't let the tables grow so in that case when archiving is not possible SAP says go and purge off the data so these are the tables where archiving objects are not there okay we just go and delete the data and we have specific programs for each table the first table is bdcp2 the aggregated change pointers bdcp bdcps okay so deletion of change pointers possible which are produced through idocs with report rbdcp clr transaction bd22 or prevention through switching of change pointer writing bd61 or bd50 okay so the change pointers deletion is possible okay so these change pointers are produced through idocs okay so after the idocs are delete uh, archived we go and delete these change pointers in bdcp2 table and the report is rbdcp clr or transaction bd22 okay and you have to make sure like wherever change pointers are not required please switch off them using bd61 or bd 50 okay the next table is idoc rel links between idoc and application object use delete report rsrld rel after idoc archiving okay so here this idoc rel table consists of the links between the idocs and application objects okay so we use the report rsrld rel okay and here also uh, once the idocs are archived then only the links between the idocs and the application objects are deleted okay and this is the report for that the next table is uh, srr el roles object relationship service roles delete report rs same report this is rs rld rel c note 505608 and there are some archiving objects which include this table okay so here also this object relationship service roles you can just use this report the, the same report applies for this idoc rel and this uh, srl roles okay so the links between the idocs and application objects and the object relationship service roles both use the same report for deleting the data okay but however here we have some archiving objects and we can refer to this as note okay so you can give this S node number in the SAP service marketplace and you'll get the you know relevant information like what type of suitable archiving objects are there for this particular table. The next one is TST03, the TMCN spool. Customizing settings for deleting spool output and delete okay reporters RSP1041. Okay. So even the spool. That is the TMC area in the SAP has to be cleaned out now and then. Okay, so we have this report and this is used to delete the data from this TMC. Okay, so here also I have just listed some four important tables. Okay, and their deletion reports. Depending upon uh, you know your business, certain tables can be in a huge size. Okay, so you have to check relevant SAP notes and schedule the delete reports periodically okay say like we put a strategy like we delete all change pointers older than six months okay and again the duration is completely specific on your client and business requirements it's not in our hands okay sap says like it's up to your discretion 
whatever time period you choose okay but wherever archiving is not possible so sap has given some delete reports for directly purging of the data from those tables okay so so these are the specific four tables and these are the corresponding delete reports and these reports you have to run periodically okay so say like if you have chosen a time frame of six months okay so every day or probably like every week okay every week is best to run these you know jobs to purge off the data whenever the system load is less especially on weekends you can run them okay so generally what they do this archiving jobs they run at night time when this is load on the system is less similarly these deletion and purging jobs they run during weekends okay so uh, you have to schedule them periodically probably every week or every you know uh, fortnight okay to purge off the data from these tables and we choose certain time period like three months six months whatever okay depending upon your business and we have to delete the data to improve the performance the more the size of the table is okay the performance will deteriorate okay so we have to make sure that whether we can archive the data or purge off the data okay to improve the performance in the system okay so this is a short video on this deletion of some technical data in ECC okay so in the next video we'll learn about the jobs okay so the reports and the technical reports which are used in archiving thank you